Colton. Yes. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, so last week was like the most intense episode so far. It's so crazy that so much drama came out of vagueness. Yeah. We the he sh the she said she said really. Yeah. Were you surprised at how Kaylin acted in her interviews? Like the harsh language that was used. Did that turn you off at all? Uh, no, I think what you see is passion. I mean, when like. I could see where they're frustrated as I was frustrated. I mean, nobody really knows exactly where this came from and who's saying what and who to believe. Just, um, I think the one thing that you see me struggle with is just it's polar opposites. Mm -hmm. um, one said it's not said at all. One said this was definitely said, but mm -hmm. nobody heard it. So right. it's just fr it's more frustrations I think that you see coming out. Watching your season back, do you feel like there are some scenes that have changed your point of view on some different women? Um. And, I mean, no, I can only speak from my experience with the women. Mm -hmm. um, I know seeing behind the scenes and sort of how they're um, talking through things in interviews, it gives me a better insight to who they are and like exactly how things have been going down. Um, but it hasn't changed it too much. You know, I like to just make my judgments based off of my interactions with them. Got it. Um, what, what fight are you most dreading being brought up again today? Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean... I don't know if I'm like dreading any in speci like specifically. I know there's gonna there's still probably some tension between Anyeka and Nicole, mm -hmm. and then obviously Demi um, and Courtney mm -hmm. probably still have some words left unsaid. But you know, I think it, it's all healthy just to talk through it now um, and then move on, brush your hands and move move forward. Well, actually, I was doing a poll before with the audience. Yeah. It seems like most people are Team Cassie and Team Kaylin. How do you think the girls from your season are going to react from this past drama with her today up on the stand? Yeah, uh, I think today is actually going to be very interesting because there was so much she said, she said, mm -hmm. and it came from vague comments mentioned to me mm -hmm. through um, Demi, Sydney, um, and then obviously the big name that you hear over and over is Katie. Yeah. And so I think they're going to have a lot of questions for her, and I'm interested to hear what she has to say. Um, but, you know, I can't speak for opinions of others, so it's up for them. And I think as you see this progress and play out, it'll make a little bit more sense. Have you heard from Katie what she heard? I haven't, I haven't spoke to any of, any of the uh, women uh, since my season's ended. Okay, so this should be interesting. Yeah. What if she says something crazy? I, it'd be good TV. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> but it could be bad. Could it be bad for you? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it could be bad for me. I don't think anything anybody says at this point is going to change me or, you know, where I'm at in my life. Okay, cool. And then last fun question. Yes. You're in O-Town's new song. I yeah. had no idea. Are you cousins with Jacob Underwood? Um, we might be. So he has family in Southern Illinois and so do I. Yeah. So we actually just always joked about it. And then my dad flew out to, and we were hanging out one time and he's like, you have family in Southern Illinois? He's like, we're from there. And they put that link. So we might be, I don't know. But yeah, we have a song that came out today. Completely supports cystic fibrosis. It's an awesome, it's like sort of an anthem for the warriors and for the kids. I listened to it. It's really good. I mean, I love O-Town, yeah. obviously. I'm yeah. Ashley. I, I got to <laughs> I got to, I literally got to live out like my 90s boy band dreams. So it that, was cool. That is so cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, can I please ask you one more question? Yeah. In the super tease, they show you holding a ring box that doesn't have a ring in it. Yeah. And you've been saying it's because the ring is on the girl's finger. Come on, Colton. I didn't say it's because it's on the. the no, what? Didn't you finger? tweet something along the yeah, lines of my, that? My tweet said rings belong on fingers, not in boxes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, that, that's good enough for me. Thank you. <laughs> <All right. laughs>